Today I will be doing a movie review of Beast of No Nation. Now this movie is currently on Netflix. If you haven't seen it already, go check it out. I highly recommend this movie. Beast of No Nation revolves around the child soldier, Agu, who is played by a child actor, Abraham Atta, and the location is set in an unnamed African country, and I'll get to that in a second. And it shows, you know, what's it like to be a child soldier, and then also it, it shows a relationship between him and his fellow child soldiers. Um, the most notable one is uh, Stryka, and then his uh, commander, who goes by the name of the Commandant, who's played by Idris Elba. And something that I can appreciate about this film is that most military war dramas or military uh, you know, movies in general, they give you the wide scope of the situation, you know, why the sides are fighting and etc. Even when you have child soldiers that are the, that are the, uh, you know, the focus of the movie, they still give you, you know, the, the general scope of the uh, situation at hand. In this movie, you're looking at a, uh, you know, a conflict through the eyes of a, a child um, fighting in this conflict. And you don't really know what's going on throughout most of the movie. You know, it's in an unnamed West African country. Now, obviously, uh, I would say that this is probably based on the Sierra Leonean uh, Civil War and the Liberian Civil War because you have, you know, it's, there's like subtle references here and there such as, you know, arms being chopped off. Uh, there's one guy who's just butt butter balls naked throughout the film. I mean, dick swinging in the, the breeze, like the whole entire movie. And he's like, uh, he's like the commandant's like, one of his lieutenants or whatever, and you know, and that that makes reference to uh, a Liberian uh, general or you know who fought during their civil war by the name of General Butt Naked. Obviously, you know it draws on those parallels. So, but you know, throughout the movie, you don't really know why these uh, sides are fighting or or for what. You know, they both commit atrocities constantly, and it it looks like they're just fighting over power, and that's it. You don't really have uh, a lot of names being given, even locations of different areas, and that's, it, it honestly uh, just shows that this movie is being sh shown by the eyes of a child soldier because they don't tell, you know, the children that are fighting where they're going, you know, they don't give them the, the wide scope of why they're fighting, they just say that, you know, th that side killed your family, so here's an AK-47 and go, f and go fight for us because we're the good guys. But I mean, you know, they're, both of those sides are committing atrocities left and right. And for someone that has a very high tolerance for uh, very graphic, uh, you know, movies or whatever, I mean, this movie was definitely up there. You know, I've, I've seen movies where people get chopped off with, or chopped up with machetes, but it's very seldom that you'll see, like, children being forced to do that. And it's very graphic. They don't try to sugarcoat what it's like to be in that kind of conflict as a child. They just show you, like, you know, this is what's going on. You're constantly having to kill people, and you really don't know why you're fighting. You're just being forced to, you know, and if you don't, you know, pick up an AK-47, then the people who are giving it to you will probably want to kill you. And it's just a, an all-around very sad situation. And I think that this movie, you know, it should get, a, a, you know, a quite a bit of awards. Um, I think Idris Elba and Abraham Atta did a phenomenal job in portraying, you know, the atrocities that take place every single day. I mean, this, even though it looks like this movie takes place, uh, you know, during the late 90s, a lot of it um, is still going on today when it comes to child soldiers. You know, there's child soldiers all throughout the world in the conflict zones, you know. Uh, AK-47s are really not that heavy. And from what I've heard, I never fired an AK-47, but the recoil isn't that bad. And um, the reason that you see so many weapons and conflicts throughout the world or what have you is because after the fall of the Soviet Union, there was a flood of, uh, you know, weapons to third world countries that field conflicts that are uh, still going on today in some places. And it's just very sad. You know, this movie is, uh, you know, it, it, it's not like a... You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator, you know, blows everything up and you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's like an action type film. You no, know, it's like a very gritty, or this film is a very gritty, uh, um, you know, war uh, type film. And I think this film gets a 10 out of 10 
if I had to rate it. It's, uh, you know, the actors did a phenomenal job. So uh, that's all I got to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Tell me what you guys think about this movie in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to that. So enjoy your evening.